So this is our Turbo R. We got a bunch of big plans for it this week. We have the UTV Source Pro R right behind us. We're at Rick's house. We got the whole crew here. We've got a whole pile of parts here. We we're excited to get it built. This car is gonna undergo a major massive transformation that we're really excited about. This is Built. I'm Taylor. Welcome to the video. Daniel, put some beans in there, buddy. Do it. Let me see what you got. <laughs> Go for it. it. Go for it. Watch, I'll show you how the pro does it. This is, uh, what we're doing right now is we are messing around with one of the industry's largest front shocks. And it's got wires and stuff and things. It's really smart shock. That's why they call it the live valve. It's really smart. And it's really tucked in here. We mic'd up right now? Yeah, oh, I always stay mic'd up. See, I'm on a very restricted budget here at UTV Source. <laughs> <laughs> He's broken. He's so broken. I'm broken. You're broken. Heat, man. It's, you're under air conditioning. And it, oh my God. I don't hear in the heat. You're fired. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> Okay, here's the deal, and the reason why I know it's never gonna work like that is that is a massive shock that they've used on the side by side. This is Garrett, we're at 518 Designs. He does all the UTV source wraps and everyone else's wraps. I'm greedy. How are you? The dog farts insane. So what we're doing is we're taking notes. It's three and a half inches from here to here. I don't have a really bougie tool. This is what I got. All of our content. Warning. The stunts in this movie were performed by professionals, so for your safety and the protection of those around you, do not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. So, you may be asking me, how do you release the tension on the strap? Oh, it's easy. It's super easy. There's multiple ways you can do it. Taylor's got my back. He's protecting us. <laughs> yes! Taylor, <Tell> come. <laughs> come down there. Wow, that has a shoot to it. Taylor, how did it fall off? Yeah, I see what was that there. That was really strong. <laughs> did you see that? Listen. I'm just really happy that nothing landed on my toe. <laughs> Tay, I'll, you, I'll so, <laughs> you so saved the day. Oh. Good morning. Day two, Casey highlights build on the turbo ore is going down. We got a lot of parts. We got Dan, who's a big, strong guy. He's gonna carry them all over there. Let's start opening boxes. All right, finish first. We're doing that first. Ooh, that looks clean. For the price. Those are cool bags. Look at that. Even the zippy's got like a little stay shot. That's fancy. I'm not gonna lie. These are pretty fancy bags, dude. I'm a bad guy. Big bad guy. I got Louis Vuitton, Prada, uh, uh, Michael Kors. Big, big. No, I'm not.
So as typical last minute crunch for sand sports, we don't have brackets for our Turbo R for the overhead Pro 6 bar. So we're here at Willis Fabworks. Super good dude. He's also the person that built the brackets for us on our Can-Am Defender. He's building Rick's personal pre-runner as well here. We're here to shop. Thank you, Willis, for helping us out with this last minute project that was a 8 a.m. phone call. And a, by 6 p.m. we're pretty much done with everything after two hours of being here. So pretty nice. So we're here just hanging out, getting brackets made. Let me do that again. Take two! Quiet on the set! <laughs> DRT fenders, ABS plastic, form, fit, finish, paintable, ready to go in, no body work needed. Like honestly, it might sound cheesy, but these are, these are like one of my favorite things. They instantly change the look of your Pro XP, your Turbo R, or your Pro R. Let me do take three! This is the DRT Motorsports Fender Flare. It's like a wide body kit for your UTV, except it doesn't have the wide body price. You can get it at utvsource.com. We run it on our Pro XP. DRT nailed it on this. Like this is such a, it's one of my faves. Good job opening that. Good job filming me. Taylor, get to work. So we're just trying to finish some wiring now. Actually, just get started on the wiring now. So this is all for the chase bar. Um, lots of different connectors here for all the different turn signals, functions, all the different modes. So we're just trying to wrap that up first. Then we have to wire up the overhead Pro 6 bar as well as the bumper mounted Pro 6 lights as well. So we've got a lot of wiring to do. Um, so this is now the fun part. Okay, gonna be doing this for a while. So like, I don't know, montage, Jacob, or cut through this? Yeah, let's do time lapse. Yeah, let's, let's not film this. <laughs> and that's it, we're done, just like that. Okay, so it's 
pretty much the last-ish day of building. We're done with this. It's pretty much done. We're gonna send it off to wrap. So we have a few little things to do here and there, but for the most part, we're done. So let's get this thing to wrap. Are you ready? Ready to go? Are you ready? Ready for more? finishing touches here. The guys at 518 are finishing the wrap for us. We have about two days worth of work yet to wrap this thing up before Sand Sports Super Show. Tires, wheels, seats, winch, fair lead, all that kind of good stuff. Today, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go to Summit 4x4 grand opening first thing tomorrow morning. So it's like a six hour drive for me. So I gotta get out of here right now. So you guys are actually gonna see the finished version of this wrap before I do. Right now it's, I don't know, 40% done looking really good. I'm really excited about it so far. Hopefully you guys dig it as well. With that, that's pretty much everything for this episode of Build. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the build or future steps for us, we got, this is kind of phase one. We have more stuff to do. Uh, leave us a comment in the comment section below. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks for tuning in and remember to adventure further.